I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the difference between a pitch and a chip. People interchange those two and they're very different. They have very different intentions. When do we use them? Well, when we're nearly just off the, uh, the green and you're going to want to get the ball onto the green. Well, how do you know which one to use? It could depend on where the flag is or other things that are in the way. So let's just talk about the distinction between the two. So I've got a ball in my hand. I'm going to kind of toss it to land toward this red target. And notice it rolled, flew a little bit, rolled mostly. That's a chip. It's a four letter word, kind of like putt. It's the closest thing to putt. It's a little in the air and a lot of roll. A pitch is much higher. So if I land near that yellow or I'm on the yellow, guess what? I got to about the same place. Two very different things. Why would I use one versus the other? If I need to go over something, I'm going to want to pitch. Right. Most of us have a little better control with the chip. So if I have a choice and I'm near the green and I need a little bit of carry, then I'm going to choose that. Well, what does that mean? I'm going to choose two very different clubs. I want to take a lofted club or one with lots of angle or a high number like a pitching wedge or even a sand wedge to go high, and that would be a pitch. And I'm going to take a less lofted club, like a seven or an eight iron, and that will be my chip. A little bit of air, lots of roll. I hope that helps because that'll make a big difference in your scoring around the greens.